Number 16. Write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient QC for each of the following reactions. And then we have this one right here. So I need to write the QC for 2PBNO32 solid, which comes to equilibrium with 2PBO solid plus 4NO2 gas plus O2 gas. Now the QC formula is a very generalized formula. It's this right here. So I'll just put it over here. And the C in QC stands for concentrations, aka molarities. So when we actually get to the math, we're only allowed molarity values in here. And we denote that by using these brackets. So anytime that you see brackets, that means molarity. But the QC formula is literally just your products divided by your reactants. So the molarity of the products divided by the molarity of the reactants. And for each product or for each reaction, you have to raise it by the coefficient value, a.k.a. the big numbers in the front. But now here's the thing, guys. you got to play by the rules. If you're going to use a QC formula, there's only two states that are allowed, aqueous and gas. No solids, so no S's, and no liquids, no L's. So always just look at your states first. But I'm looking, and I see that I have a solid another solid, a gas, and a gas. Can you tell me which two out of these are not allowed in the formula? Yeah, you're right, the two solids. So this one is going bye-bye. Now, you could put a little x right here, or you could slash through the whole compound. I don't care. I'm just going to put a little x over here. And then this solid, the PBO, that's not going to be in the QC either. So I could put a, a, an X over here, or you want to slash through the whole thing, be my guess, right? But these are good, so I'm going to check these up. Now we're ready to draw out the QC, or write the QC formula. Okay. It's, this is... Eh, whatever, right? That looks fine. So now let's work from top to bottom, products, and then we'll look at the reactants. There's three products here. But keep in mind that I don't even care about this one. So I'm going to start with the NO2. You can work from left to right. So we'll go from NO2 and then we'll do the O2. So I got to write brackets. I'm going to call what the compound is NO2. Close the bracket. You don't have to write down that you have gases anymore. But then you have to raise it to the coefficient. For NO2, there was a 4 in the front. So I have to raise it to the 4th. Now comes my next compound. I got O2. Well, it's a molecule, but whatever, right? And even though there's a plus in the balanced equation, we're not plussing here, okay? These are multiplication. So you could either write the multiplication sign or just put the bracket next door. That's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to call the O2, close the bracket, and now look for that coefficient. But there was none here. That means that I had one of them. So I could either raise this to the first or just leave it, right? Because anything raised to the first is itself. Now I'm done with the product side. Let's go to the reactant side. But I only had one compound, and it's a solid. I can't use this. There's no other reactant, which means that I just need a placeholder, right? What's the number that we use for placeholders? Yeah, it's just one, right? So I could just say this whole side would be a 1. The denominator is a 1. So technically, this is the QC, but you got to simplify it, right? This is not going to be shown on your test or quiz. They will simplify it. And remember, anything divided by 1 is itself, right? So I can get rid of this 1. I can get rid of the division sign. And now the QC is just basically the numerator. So it would be the concentration of NO2 raised to the fourth times the concentration of O2. All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.